All right, this is my uh, first impressions of the Villov uh, UL50 VT. I've only had it for about a day. Um, this is the first chance I've actually had to use it on battery. Um, it took about, I think, two to three hours to get a full charge after the um, video review. I haven't unplugged it since, but I figured I'd let it charge anyway. <coughs> I've had it unplugged for about an hour now, and I've used about 10% of the battery, which, for a 10-hour battery life, is kind of the target area you want to be looking at. Um, the CPU is still in turbo mode, which I would suspect does affect that. I have the brightness at minimal, and I have it on battery saving, so I have it back to the standard uh, integrated GPU. And I've actually had the LCD closed and off most of the time, so that's actually just the core notebook functions running. I've been listening to music. I'm just trying to get a feel for it. Um, let's go. I'm going to give a quick first impressions. First, I'll uh, let us see the, the ports real quick on this thing. Um, there is a uh, VGA port on this side with a. I believe this is gigabit. I haven't actually tested it, but I'm pretty sure it is. The optical drive, which is. Um, I'm not sure if it's a dual layer or not, but it's uh, it's a DVD multi. Uh, one USB port right here, and on the other side we have um, the audio in or microphone, audio out. Two more USB ports, HDMI, uh, card reader. This is SD and a couple other things. The uh, vent and the um, power port. My first impressions of this notebook are I was really impressed with its gaming performance. I um, installed Left 4 Dead 2. I posted a video of that uh, I think this morning of it running Left 4 Dead 2 and it runs Left 4 Dead 2 considerably well on the default settings that it wants to launch at. I was quite impressed and m even more impressing was this thing didn't even get that warm. Um, it was a smaller CPU or the smaller fan, I was kind of worried, you know, it get it warm, cause, especially because of the G51. But the G51 has, of course, a gaming workhorse CPU and uh, graphics card, so I guess it's more logical that it gets warm. Um, my first impressions of the overall system is the LCD, it's fair quality. It seems to be kind of dim, especially when plugged in. Even at maximum brightness, it feels a little bit dim. I suspect you could probably... Uh, mess with the color settings under the NVIDIA control panel and the integrated control panel and probably tweak that and make it look a little bit better but I haven't really spent time doing that because um, I haven't used the notebook quite that much yet um, I've tested the web webcams a little bit and a lot of people say it sucks it's not horrible but, but it's I'd say it's fair quality as well the keyboard is a lot better than my G51. The keys, rec I haven't had a missed keystroke yet, which makes me very happy. Although, it, the keyboard feels a little bit funny. The keys kind of feel tacky, like they they stick down a little bit longer than your key. Your fingers are actually touching them, which is a little bit disconcerting. But I, I suspect it's something you can probably get used to very quickly. The palm rest or the touchpad uses this uses this bumped uh, touch touchpad, and I find it one of the worst touchpads I've probably ever used. It's sometimes completely unresponsive. If your hand is slightly moist or from sweat or whatever, you can't use it at all because your finger won't even slide against this, uh, the palm rest. And it actually hurts your hand after a while because of you have to have your thumb so far to the edge to left click because there's a single mouse bar, so it, it teeters, which I think they've used for most of the EPCs now. The 901 and, 90, uh, and 900 that I have, I don't think have that problem. They're a little bit better, but like I said, this, this particular synopsis pad is one of the worst ones I've used. It's functional, but I don't like it because, you know, if, if you, you know, you get your hands wet for any reason at all, it's almost impossible to use this. And, like I said, it sometimes it completely stops functioning. You have to lift your finger off and wake up something. Although that is typical of, of some uh, touch pads that build up a charge or something and they won't work for a second. You have to take your finger off and let it recalibrate real quick. But it also seems to kind of 
sometimes when your finger ends up in the lower left corners, it seems to lose a lot of functionality. You have to move your finger back up to the center to actually get the functionality back. But um, those are really minor complaints on my part. Um, the notebook I have is a little bit heavier than I think a lot of people would want. Um, I haven't actually weighed it yet, but I'm, I, I think that the I think the four point I think they say like four point two pounds something like that, and it's the lightest notebook I own almost. I think my EPCs might be a little bit lighter. You can tell that a lot of the weight is the battery, which you know it is an eight cell battery. And that's a pretty hefty battery, you know. But uh, you know, I like it's it's really sleek. It's pretty thin. You know, it's not a MacBook Air. It's it's a MacBook Air alternative if you want you know Windows computer if you want better battery life, if you want an optical drive, more than one USB port, the yeah, ability to actually plug in Ethernet, and, um, you know, like a car, you get a card reader, you get HDMI and VGA, and you get a microphone in, so you get more functionality than you do the MacBook Air, although this thing is, cons I think, about two or three pounds heavier than the MacBook Air, and um, about a quarter of an inch thicker, I think. I think the MacBook Air is about the same size as the base unit of this, probably a little bit thinner actually. Um, but those are just a few, you know, quick pointers. Um, I would like to mention one thing that I absolutely love about this notebook so far is the fact that the speakers in this thing are so much better than, this, than my G51 gaming laptop that's also from Asus. They're not the best speakers in the world. I've had better speakers in notebooks, but as far as um, Asus and a lot of, or well, actually, in the, for comparison versus any Asus notebook that I've had so far, this has the best speakers I've ever heard. They are on the bottom. I believe they are two watt um, Altec Lantern. I know it, I said that wrong. I always say that wrong. I apologize. Um, it does have this uh, premium sound SRS thing, which kind of, you can tweak the sound, make it sound more 3D, make it sound like you're actually in the environment, which is a very handy feature. Um, it changes the sound, helps you a little bit. But, as for speakers, this has some of the best I've ever heard, uh, but the only things I've heard better on so far that I own is my Dell XPS Gen 2 and my Dell Inspire 9100, which both have subwoofers and m mid-range and uh, tweeters. So they have the full range speakers and supposed to just, you know, two speak or one speaker per, per side to handle all the audio. So I would expect them to perform a little bit better. But as for, you know, any Asus notebook, this performs better than my EPCs, this performs better than my gaming laptop. Um, as far as listening to music, I think you'd be very pleased to listen to music, watching movies on this thing, I think would be very good. Um, I'm probably going to run the battery completely dead here and uh, see how long it lasts and then probably wrap up, um, get a better final opinion. I'm probably going to do some more video, uh, gaming benchmarking. I'm going to probably do some battery tests on, um, while browsing the web, while watching movies, and a couple other things, just to give a well-rounded opinion of battery life. Because I think that's probably one of the biggest questions people have, is probably how well does this thing perform in battery life. And, um, I'm also going to have to try and test it without the turbo mode on, Right now, I have the settings, the display turned all the way down. I have it on battery saving mode under the power gear, which underclocks the CPU to like 50% maximum, and then lets it idle down even further to about 5% of actual capac processing capacity. Anyway, that was a really quick review. Um, if you haven't got any questions, uh, I guess you could probably post a comment. I can give probably give you a response about this notebook. Um, so far I really, really like it. It it's one of the better notebooks I've owned and as for getting a light, sleek and long lasting battery life notebook, I think it's a pretty good choice, especially for the price. I think you might find better functionality in the UL eighty V T, which has almost everything the same as this except for it's a fourteen inch, which is gonna, is a little bit lighter. Um, and it doesn't have the um, number pad. Um, but I, I don't think very many people use the number pad. So, anyway, 
This has been my first impressions of the UL uh, 50 VT made by ASUS. If you've got any questions, leave a comment.